Hey my loves, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to dive right into um, eight acts, lifestyles for your 20s. So if you're in your early 20s, you're in your mid, or you're in your late 20s, as far as you're 20 something, this video is definitely for you. So I would advise you to stick to the end of this video to help you navigate this exciting. Yes, it's an exciting journey but still it's one of the most challenging um decade so if you're in your 20 something please watch this video so let's jump right in so number one is master your money routine so start your day strong by establishing a very strong money routine it could be meditation it could be daily exercise it could be um, stretching or taking some yogurt. And this could also include having a healthy breakfast in the morning. This could also include um, setting goals for each day. And don't forget that a productive morning sets the tone. So two is financial fitness. Get grip of your finance early on. The same way you take your physical appearance seriously, the same way you go to the gym and all that, and you take your health seriously, that's the same way you should also apply that energy in your finance. Learn how to save regularly, learn how to budget, and also learn how to invest wisely. Learn a few things about investing. You definitely get the result of any habit you cultivate in the long run. It can be positive and also it can be negative. Make sure you cultivate positive habits about your finance early on. You're the one that is going to benefit from it in the next seven or even ten years by the time you're in your thirties. So another one, which is the number three, is health is wealth. Please pay attention to your health. Take care of your physical appearance, exercise regularly, make sure you eat healthy and nutritious meal. Try as much as possible to get quality sleep. It's very, very important. Um, I'm suffering from insomnia. It hasn't been good. There was a point I wasn't taking my um, doctor's advice and at some point i noticed i still have a memory loss which is bad so quality sleep is um uh, is a must it helps you to recharge for another day exercise regularly yes for someone that you know there's um high blood pressure diabetes stroke in the family you've noticed it this is the time for you to get hold of your own health so try as much as possible to do things that will minimize the chance of you having that because most of these things also are passed through um, gene, through your DNA. So make sure that you pay attention to your physical appearance. You get to someone like me, um, um, there's fat in the family. So one thing I try as much as possible to reduce is food that contains much calories. And I've been trying to exercise at least 30 minutes now in a day at least like i don't do anything i make sure that i do exercise for 30 minutes so make sure you pay attention to your health because by the time you're 30 you see the result of what you've done so now is the time to pay attention to that number four is networking matter you need people you need to network if you're looking for a job you still need to know someone that will give you that information about if there's any vacancy if you're into business either product or services you still need people people are the one that is going to get that so that shows you how important networking with people is attend events connect with mentors and leverage of platform like linkedin some of you don't even have a working linkedin profile like you being active like the way you're active on social media like um, the tiktok instagram and all that make sure your linkedin is active don't be afraid to reach out to people don't be afraid to, to make friends someone like um, us that introverts please make friends with people in the long run you're going to definitely need that so make friends with people connect with mentors you could learn one or two things from them and also connect with people also irrespective of the age gap number five which is for you to learn how to embrace failure and growth definitely you're going to fail in some things you're doing you can't um, get 10 over 10 in everything you're doing so there are some that might be a kind of a setback 
So make sure you embrace that, learn from it, take some lessons. You could just take a step back and pick one or two lessons you might have learned from these things. What could I have done differently that would have made a change in these things? So don't be afraid of failure. Don't be afraid of setback. Most times, just readjust yourself. Learn. Yes, that's the important thing. Learn from failure. Learn why did you fail. Ask yourself questions when you fail. You don't need to give yourself some sort of um, pity party. I've done a business and I failed woefully. I mean woefully after investing a lot of things. And I felt very bad. I felt, am I even sure that I really want to do something like this? So what I did next was I cried. Yeah, we are human beings. who we'll cry at some point. But one thing I did was pick myself up again, rebrush and go back to the same thing. But this time around, I'm doing it with a whole lot of experience. And guess what? I'm here in my game right now. Like, I'm a excellent in what I'm doing right now. So that is what I will advise anyone in their 20s. I'm also in, I'm in my mid-20s. So that is the advantage, the leverage you have. Like, if you're in your 20s, you could make the mistake. And learn from the mistake and redo it again. This time around, you're doing it in a more professional way. So another one is travel smart look for some options that are not expensive yes some travel options that are not expensive because traveling make you see a different thing about the world it's broadening your horizon the horizon of knowledge you get to learn about other people's culture about other people's way of life that is how important traveling is so travel um smartly as you can number seven is never stop learning whether it's you acquiring another degree getting another skill or it's you staying updated in your industry trend ensure you're always up to date you don't need to only learn about your own field you can also make sure you have knowledge about every thing in life a little knowledge about everything in life actually makes it um, better for you because continuous learning keeps you adaptable and it makes you competitive i'm not saying you should know it all i'm saying just having a little knowledge about it so the last but not the least today is prioritize self-care self-care is not selfish make time for activities that recharge your mental health that recharge you be uh, spending time with your loved ones so make sure you do things that makes you feel recharged of the day because at the end of the day you're left with yourself or so ever i've mentioned so far if you don't take care of yourself no one is going to take care of you emotional and your mental well-being matters a lot so make sure you prioritize that and that is the end of today's video does any of these uh, acts resonate with you which one have you been doing which one do you think we should have had or which one do you think resonates with you please drop that in the comment section let's hear from you in the comment section because it tells how much you value this content please don't forget to subscribe to this channel i'm waiting for you and don't forget lucky is always rooting for you don't forget to keep rooting for yourself Bye-bye.